This is Dave Farber. Hi, this is Dave Farber. We're starting a webinar today. This is a manufacturer's fine house. This webinar will highlight one of our stations. Uh, so many factors know the value of being a manufacturer, and they really spend a great deal of effort. Hello, this is Hello. Dave Farmer. We're going to be doing a webinar today on one of our supporting manufacturers. And it's going to highlight their product line. And these supporting manufacturers really know the value of being in land effects. And they spend a, a really a great deal of effort to ensure that their product line is carefully represented in the program. We actually feel this manufacturer representation within land effects will grow to an extent that you, the specifier, will have virtually every aspect of the built environment at your fingertips within your CAD environment. Uh, and that's going to be a really good thing for you and a really powerful thing. So we hope you'll also reciprocate uh, their effort by at least reviewing their product line and seeing how it might benefit your future uh, projects. So I think this form of communication is really, really a valuable thing. And what I'd like to do now is to uh, turn the uh, presentation over uh, to Pat Janis. He's the owner of Camelot Concrete. And Camelot Concrete makes uh, planters and pots and that sort of thing, very um, uh, interesting ones that you'll see. Um, and he is now being made the presenter of this. And now you can see his screen, uh, which is his website. Great. Dave, thank you so much. Uh, is that all you have for me, Dave? You want me to, to begin? Uh, no, that's, that's all I have for you. Why don't you go ahead, okay. and I just wanted to mention what I'm going to do after you make your presentation is I want to show the people out there how to uh, use land effects to specify these products that they're going to be seeing here. So whenever you're done, I'll take back over the screen and show them that information. Great. Well, thank you. I will uh, keep it brief. I, I don't anticipate going more than 10 minutes. Uh, I would like to, to start off by introducing myself. My name is Pat Janis. I am the owner of Camelot Concrete. And first of all, before I talk about my uh, product, I, I want to kind of give you a brief, quick story that, uh, you know, it's my goal to go ahead and try to target people like yourself, specifiers, to introduce my product offering in hopes that you see the value that I present. And I was approached probably about two months ago from LandFX to uh, introduce their, their services to me. And I just want to say that I've been very pleased thus far just in the professionalism and the way they've handled and communicated with me. So I'm very excited to move forward with them. And uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about our product offering here at Camelot Concrete. A uh, little history about a year Oh, probably about 20 months ago, we acquired a company out of Vancouver, British Columbia called Airy Stone. And they produced uh, the various pots and planters uh, that you'll see here momentarily. And we had brought the operation down here to Arizona to where we're currently manufacturing in the Phoenix marketplace. Uh, I, I will tell you, it, it has not been totally easy. I mean, just as you can imagine, the difference in climate up there, you have a, more of a controlled climate just with the weather. And then manufacturing the product down here in the middle of the summertime can somewhat be a challenge. But I am here to say that we have uh, overcome that. We figured things out. We are producing a quality product that we stand behind 100%. And we are very excited to, again, try to get it introduced to the people like yourselves for various products that you might be working on throughout the United States. So uh, we currently offer 27 different styles. Uh, as you'll see here momentarily, they're very traditional looking. And I do understand that that does not cater to everyone. So with that being said, we are going to be introducing here in the next couple months more of a contemporary line as well to augment our offerings. Uh, so I have the control here. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you a little uh, brief overview of our, our website. We have uh, recently uh, revamped our website to add an online feature to show pricing, and that's going to be uh, over here on the online store, and I'll go over that 
later. So um, let me just start here. Uh, we are members of various architectural groups and designer groups, as you can see. Uh, and then let me just click here on the pots and planners. Uh, on this section, you'll see the various styles that we currently offer, the different uh, sizes and dimensions. You can click on each of these, and it should enlarge to give you a more descriptive view uh, of this planter. This one here happens to be called our Victoria Peace, and this is in the bronze color. Uh, so talking about color, what separates our product from our competitors is that we do it a little bit differently. We make all of our products in gray cement, and then we apply, hand apply, acid stains. So this particular planter here, the Victoria with the bronze finish, has four different applications of acid stain applied to it throughout the process to give it its very unique finish. I like to use the analogy of the carrot and the radish. If you take a carrot, break it open, you're going to see the orange throughout the carrot. Uh, that's what most of the planters out there are going to have because the color is integrally uh, mixed in with the cement mix to produce that. Uh, we have more of the radish effect to where we're having ours applied on the outside. And the advantage that we have is you can see that we have a lot uh, truer and richer color applications uh, with our products. So uh, again, just scrolling down, I think Dave will show you how uh, in his presentation, once you, he goes through, you'll be able to click on our website, and I'm just kind of going through to show you the various products that we have here. Uh, another thing I want to offer is the, the shopping cart feature. So over here, online store. Uh, you would then click over here to Concrete Pots and Planners. And the one big thing that we offer here at Camelot Concrete, which is you know somewhat of a concern to people like yourself, is the shipping. Uh, these products can range anywhere from 100 pounds to this particular planner right here weighs 109 pounds, all the way up to uh, 350 pounds. So they can be quite heavy, but we're going to go ahead and absorb the shipping cost, uh, and that will be inclusive in the pricing that you're seeing. So I know a lot of times when you're specifying products, you want to have a ballpark figure of what those costs are going to be. So we've just made it easy and have made uh, shipping to be inclusive. Uh, let me go back here and show you one other thing and that should wrap it up and that is the colors that we offer so all designs available in natural which is just the basic gray uh, coloring and then eight colors so we click here and these are the different colors that we offer so our uh, most popular color right here as you can see is the bronze color now I do want to also mention that if you're working on a larger product, uh, excuse me, project, we can attempt to make a custom color. So if you were to send us a color uh, that you would like us to try to replicate, we will definitely try to uh, satisfy that. And we, when we say a larger project, we like to do that on any orders of, you know, over 30 different planners, so that you can have a consistency of what you're looking for. So uh, I believe that's pretty much it. I'm a, a big believer. Short and simple is uh, sometimes the better way to go. So at this point, I'm going to turn it back over to Dave. And from my understanding, uh, if you all have any questions, they'll be directed to uh, Dave. And he will uh, forward that to me. And I'll be happy to answer any of them. But again, I, I thank you very much for uh, your time. And I uh, look forward to working with you in the future. Well, thank you, Pat. Yep. And uh, I just I do want to mention that if you do have any questions during this, you can type it in where it says chat or questions. And Katie is monitoring uh, on our end any questions that uh, you may have on there. Uh, right now, you're seeing my AutoCAD screen, and I'm going to show you how to specify this particular product in here. Now, uh, what you would do is since you have to notate 
these sort of things. Uh, by these sort of things, I mean benches, tables, site amenities, uh, pots, planters, etc. You you not only put them into the drawing, but at some point in time, you have to point to them and um, uh, call them out with some form of notation. And so where this worked for us is we have this really powerful reference note system. Uh, this is our graphics toolbar. The first button on there is reference notes, or in FX graphics, uh, reference notes is uh, at the very top here. Uh, it's at the very top, and it's the first button because it's really powerful uh, and uh, very, very important. When I click on that, Right now, I have no notes in this particular project. And by notes, it can be anything that uh, you notate in the project, uh, such as, you know, here is this kind of a wall. Watch out for that. This is this kind of paving, things like that. And when you make notes, if you haven't looked at our reference note system, you can either make notes to say, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, or you can group notes together. This is division groupings. And this is just an example. They can be any way you want them. You set those up in preferences. It's really nice to group them if you have a lot of notes in a project. And it's very easy to get 50 or 60 notes uh, within a project, or even several hundred. And when you pick them, you want them grouped. Like here are all the notes that relate to, let's say, demolition all the notes that relate to paving, that kind of thing together. Another th thing about it is you can group notes, because when I start a new note, I can just let it be a notation, or I can be a, let it be a note that relates to a length, area, volume, or an object. And in this case, the Camelot concrete products are objects. Uh, so you go, oh, this is pretty uh, 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 important. You can always hit the help file and go right to where reference notes are to find out more information. But let me add a new particular note on here. When you do, you're going to get a dialog box that says, what is the note? Uh, and you can make that note whatever you want. And you can let it be the oh, first note be number one, or if you wish to group them, you can group them and you decide what these groupings are, or you can make it, this isn't just a note, a notation about something. Uh, this is a note that refers to, and I wish to keep track of, something with a length. Uh, that length could be a railing, a fence, a header board. And I want in this reference note system to not only keep track of the length, and maybe when we keep track, let's say it's length, whenever we keep track of quantities of something, we also have the ability to put a cost to it. And with any reference note thing, you can set a detail to it. So it's a cool way to reference details. So you can say uh, typical concrete header um, most strip. Uh, see detail, and then down here you go, well, let me see, how much is that going to cost about? And you put that factor in, and then you say set the detail to it and find the detail that applies to it. And this thing not only puts the note in, but also in the schedule for reference notes, it'll say here's the detail number. and, and you know, it'll be a smart connection. Now, what we're dealing with is not just simply a notation or a note that keeps track of uh, and relates to either length, area, or volume. This is an object. So I'm going to go over to object because I have this object I want to put in here. And specifically, a manufacturer. Now, you could click generic, which you can add your own symbols in there. This is plan graphics. Uh, uh, anything you want and, and put that, let's say it's a, um, a gazebo or a trellis or something like that, you'll physically put that drawing in and it'll have a, a, be a smart object that has this note attached to it. But I'm going to go to manufacturers. Now, where Camelot Concrete has products is either concrete planters or concrete pots. But you notice we have some other things in there because we have other manufacturers of other things also. So I'm going to go to concrete pots. I'm going to say, hey, what have I got? on here. Uh, now, we have only Camelot Concrete presently for concrete pots. So if we had other manufacturers, they would be listed here, and you can click on them. But you can click on any one, Camelot Concrete, and you're starting to see the different, what are called series options of uh, what these are. And you can scroll down through and see a thumbnail uh, of them. And so you'll find something that, uh, you know what, this one's kind of cool. <laughs> you'll find something that perks your interest, let's say, for what you're looking for. You're not really sure of the size of it because it doesn't stay, so click on it. 
And right away, what you're going to get is the specific model that that is. And what we have for the description is the size in both metric and uh, imperial units. And there's a connection to the web page and a connection to the materials colors. So right while I'm working in CAD here, I can go, well, let me see their web page on here. Uh, and I'll jump right over to uh, where their web page is, uh, cruise through it. And actually, here is that particular item uh, right there we just looked at. And as uh, Pat says, you can click on that and then get a further, clearer image of what that is. And I think these colors are pretty, I mean, the, the process he described really makes some pretty rich colors. You've got to admit, this thing is pretty awesome right here. Uh, and so you go, OK, that's what I want. Uh, but I've looked at the website, but I know it's this particular size. And for colors, I can click on that, and, or, or I could have uh, found that on their particular website. And I go, you know what, I really, as Pat said, uh, that bronze color is pretty cool, uh, but it could be any one of these. And you go, okay, I, I got the picture of what that is. And this applies, quite frankly, to the range of manufacturer items. This is what I want. I want inside of my CAD, I want the Suites catalog built into it to where as a specifier, I can quickly find what it is I'm looking for. But I've decided, yep, that's what I want right there. And I say, OK. Now, what happens is you can see down here the uh, photo of it. And it added just what that was, Camelot Concrete P113. Well, you can expand on that. Uh, you can say something like, uh, I'm going to add a little text to this. Uh, um, and I'm going to call it uh, Concrete Pot, uh, Camelot Concrete, uh, P113, you know, with a certain color and whatever it is I wish to do. I tend to expand enough uh, on that other than just saying what it is and leaving it at Camelot Concrete P113. I will often put the phone number in of the uh, particular specifier the manufacturer so that uh, the contractor has a, a quick way of finding that particular product. Uh, I'm just going to leave it be note number one. I'm not going to group it by anything. If I want to, I can give it a cost. If I want to, I can give it a detail. You know, a logical detail is, you know, how are you going to backfill this thing? Are you going to have gravel in the bottom? Are you going to have filter fabric coming up? Are you going to have a drain pipe at the bottom? Are you going to have any irrigation going? That sort of thing. Uh, and you can set that detail going to that. And that same detail can apply to you know, a whole variety of different types of pots on there. Um, so I'm going to say OK. And I've added it to my list of notations on here. And I'm not placing a note. I'm placing an object uh, because this was object. And again, you can filter. Uh, I'm going to do all notes that relate to notations only. And, and it goes away, because I'm looking only at notes that have a notation. But if I did all notes uh, that relate to an object, this and any other objects will show up. So if you do a lot of this, you don't want all these objects mixed with notes that are pointing to paving or most strips or walls or something else. Uh, you know. Back, uh, backfill for planters and all this kind of thing. You just want to see your objects. And that's the way you filter it. And I need to place it. So I'm going to go down here to place. And what I'm seeing is uh, an AutoCAD drawing that is exactly the size of what this physically is. So I can quickly add these just by saying new note relating to an object, manufacture concrete planters instead of pots this time. There's Camelot concrete. I click on that. And I'm going to pick this planter that is a kind of rectangular in shape here. And maybe I looked at it, and I said, oh, I went to the web page. I said, that's great. I say, OK. I'm going to leave the note just what it is. Uh, but I'm going to say, OK, to create that note. And I created it. So I can add all these planters very, very quickly uh, into my project. And to place it, now I am placing that exact uh, particular thing that happens to be rectangular. And the good news is that you get the AutoCAD drawing automatically of, it, of its actual size. So you can fit it into your design and comfortably know that's the way it's going to fit. That's the size. Um, and then you know whether you put a plant directly on this, or this is maybe in your site base, which is x ref into your planting plan, you still see these. And now you stick plants in it 
you know, that sort of thing. Whenever you need to, um, either right here in this drawing or if this is an external reference, it would be exactly the same way. You need to put a, um, um, a reference note that points to it because you need to call it out. And that is in reference notes. There's kind of a couple of ways you can do it. You can go to reference notes, and I'm not placing this. I'm calling it out. And you can go down here to call out, and then click on it. Just click on it, even if it's in an XREF, and you'll put uh, the note that points to it. Or uh, another quick way, if all you're doing is calling things out, just to avoid two clicks, is go down to this button that says uh, reference note call out. And by the things, the things you can call out. Um, let me see if this is, uh, no, that one isn't, but this hatch pattern could have been a paving pattern that I added by area. You can call all of those things out if you want to, uh, not just these pots right here, anything that you've used our system for. So I just sit there and I call these out. And what I like to do with these notes, if I have several of these, let's say 30 of them scattered of each type throughout my little project, I might say typical concrete pot colon and uh, you know as manufactured by so and so with their model number and their phone number uh, and we'll keep track of the quantities for you in fact here's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go to copy here uh, and I'm gonna copy a bunch of these things you know I got these little pots all over the place uh, there's a bunch of them in here now whenever you're ready you would run a reference note schedule so I'm going to go down to the second button below reference note, which is the schedule, or I suppose if I went to FX graphics, the second thing on there is reference note schedule. Uh, and then I'm going to just stick it into my drawing right here and say, OK. Uh, it drops it in, and it would include anything in the reference, I mean the XREF, by the way. So you could put these in your site base, XREF that particular plan into other plans such as irrigation and planting, etc. Uh, and this will still show up uh, if you call them out and make a reference note of it. But I've got 12 of those on here. Here's the pot, here's this other pot, and I've got one of those. And so it's a very handy way to get and specify something very quickly, and I know everything about this. I know exactly what color it's going to be, exactly what it looks like, its exact size. I've got its AutoCAD drawing in there, and I've done all of that without having to look in a variety of catalogs, etc. It's just right here uh, in my computer, uh, and so that is a very handy thing, I think, for specifying things that uh, really pertain to the built environment made by different manufacturers. And that's why this manufacturer thing is so important to us. Uh, so that is basically my story. I'm going to ask Katie if we've had any um, uh, questions at all on this. Uh, Katie, have we? Uh, there have been no questions, but they have said good job. <laughs> OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I really don't have anything else to go. Uh, that's the product. That's how to do the product. If uh, Pat has anything to say, he can uh, uh, leave us with a message, or we can just uh, sign off here. Anything else, Pat, that you've seen? No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm good. I think that uh, you know it's it's a pretty nifty program, and we're excited about moving forward. And again, I just would like to thank the the people who've taken the time today. To, to join us, and if they have any questions, they can reach out to us directly. Uh, the contact information is on our website. Well, thank you very much, and I certainly thank all of our Land Effects clients who have attended this webinar, and we, will, we are recording this webinar, and it will be posted on our manufacturer's page. So as that grows, believe me, you're going to be visiting it. This is going to be an important thing. You're going to think to yourself, I need a bench. Let me just look and see who's, you know, what webinars have gone on and, and how to do all this and see about those particular, let's say, their benches or whatever it is, uh, and see how to put that in. So this is going to be a really valuable tool for you. Uh, but uh, I do also want to thank everybody for coming, and uh, that's our webinar for today.